In this video, we're going to discuss some common properties that are present in almost all of the matrix effects. I'm going to use a 2D color on color effect to document this, but it can be applied to almost all of the other ones. The first one we're going to take a look at is loop. Inside of loop, you have options for period and count. Period sets the amount of time it will take for one complete iteration of the effect to happen. So if you look right now, it's one second. In this effect, it means that it'll take one second from the white stripe hitting the top of the lights to the white stripe hitting the bottom of the lights. If I change this and set a higher number, it will go slower. If I take it and set a smaller number, it'll go faster. Notice as I make changes here that my effect updates to give me a representation of exactly what it's going to look like. If I change this to count, we'll talk about something very similar, but we'll take it from a different angle. Instead of setting the amount of time it takes to finish an effect, we're going to set the amount of effects that finish within the length of the overall effect. So if I up my count, more of these effects will happen within the allotted time. Notice again, it is also displayed on the effect. The next thing we're going to talk about is pattern. Pattern has options for linear, bilinear, radial, conical, square, noise, and Perlin noise. By default, most of these effects start at linear. Linear gives you a swiping effect from the top of the matrix to the bottom. If we change to bilinear, we'll get a similar effect, but instead of going from the top to the bottom, we'll get two going from the middle out to both the top and the bottom. If we switch to radial, we'll get concentric circles. Conical gives you a swiping effect, like you're looking at the top of a rotating cone. Square is very similar to radial, but instead of concentric circles, it's concentric squares. Noise gives you a true random. Perlin noise gives you a random, but with a little bit more of an organic edge. If I switch back to linear, we can take a look at some of the other options. The first one is angle. By default, we'll get a perfectly horizontal effect. If I change this to something like 45, notice we can then go on a diagonal. If I do 90, we'll get from left to right instead of from top to bottom. Underneath that is repeat. Repeat sets the repeat style. You have three options, none, sawtooth, and triangle. In sawtooth, we'll have multiple repeats following each other. As I up the count, we change the amount that are displayed on the screen at any given time. If I change this to triangle, we'll get a similar effect, but instead of having everything following each other, everything is mirrored on one side or the other. Shape controls the shape of the swipe. By default, it's signed, so I'll get a nice fade up and then fade out. If I change it to square, I'll get a hard edge. If I change it to triangle, it's similar to sign, but with a more rigid linear fade in, fade out. Ramp up gives us a fade in, but no fade out. And ramp down gives the opposite. So there's no fade in, but there is a fade out. You'll find these properties throughout most of our matrix effects.